Hello, my name is Pony7 and welcome back to Space Hulk Tactics, the full release uh, version this time. Last time, well, we, uh, well, we managed to get through the first couple missions, find the gene stealers, all that. Not too bad without any uh, casualties. This time, who knows, because it's a full game. Things may have changed, so let's play move forward and there's something here. Brother Sergeant, we have finally boarded the Hulk. Our mission commences and we must be wary of the danger that awaits us here. We will bring the Emperor's light into this darkness. Acknowledged, Frodo. <laughs> I do kind of like the way the Space Marines talk. I'm guessing this is the chance of ticking up a uh, Gene Steel horde here. And our mission is the First Set Nation. Simple enough. There's something here. Be watchful. We may find relics or other items that are used to us. Allow nothing to escape your gaze. As it detected, uh, more components. Uh, more components. More components. All the components. We got all the components. Something here. But a surgeon took the hostile presence ahead. It appears to be a group of gene stealer. Seek out and purge Xenos. Acknowledged, brother. Of course. And there we go. We're gonna have our first uh, non kind of tutorial. Well, I guess this is technically kind of tutorial because I haven't seen this ticking up. This gauge represents the threat from the gene stealers present in the Hulk. Each time the squad moves, the threat increases. Events that will be triggered vary depending on the sector. A large group of gene stealers suddenly emerges from the walls. This crawling mass prevents from moving forward. We can't delay them anymore. The confrontation is inevitable. Bless your weapon and attack. For the Emperor! <laughs> Kill all gene stealers. Uh, like others of defeat. Oh, we can actually select our squad. So, Border Metal is coming because he's got the chain fist. We're under Cardial. Oh, we don't have a. A, 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 what's it called? A, um, apothecary. We don't have one of them. Apparently we were supposed to get one, but we don't have one. So we're gonna have to go with this squad, as it is. Ready for battle. Into the breach. Alright, deploy terminators on entry points. So what is our plan going to be? We have to kill them all. Well, there's no spawn zone up here. In fact, there's no spawn zone anywhere for them. Which is good. So I think I'm going to deploy the assault gunner in the first position. With the sergeant ready to fall behind. This assault this way. This assault... I should have actually turned them that way because then they can one turn step this way, I don't have to rotate. And I'll have you follow these guys. Because he's a veteran, he should be fairly good on dealing with them. So, initiate. And out of this mode. Get to the end of the hallway. And then make your turn. And... It is plus two. Uh, convert that card. That way he can go into Overwatch. And then you'll move this way. And then rotate. So that next turn, when you advance, you don't have to spend as much action points to do it. And you'll just simply advance. You will also advance. And I will send you after them as well. And there we go. That is the turn. Also, I'll, I'll leave it off for the moment. We should probably take on the move as you shoot, shoot as you move option. Alright, they moved away from the Overwatch, except this group 
isn't. I wonder if that's a decoy. Because I know they can have decoys. They're pooling behind that door a little bit. Luckily, I can shoot that door. And reveal them. Without taking uh, too much ammunition out of the assault cannon. So... Shoot there. Alright, uh, one gene stealer. I wish it was a little bit slower, but, uh, for those, actually, I should probably convert. I don't think anybody's gonna be getting into melee, so, plus three. That way he can move up to and still get an overwatch. And then I guess I'll put him into Overwatch. Just in case. Interact with the door, please. I probably should have put him into Overwatch, or a position where he could Overwatch. Because, yeah, they're in a position where they can get to him. Or shoot and move shows will be turned on on these guys. That way now if they see a target, they will shoot as they advance. I'll save it for the assault gunner, the heavy weapon bearer. And I guess open fire. 31%. You missed. You failed. Oh, you gotta... Oh, you need one die greater than six. Five is less than six. Hmm. Oh well. Well, you may live. Uh, is this the guy with the chain sword or not? No. Oh, uh, the guy with the ch I put the guy with the chain weapon, which is the better of the melee weapons of that are available to these guys right now, in the back. Where he does no good. He should be in the front. Because he's got the better melee weapons. Well, that was a mistake. Let's see how bad that mistake bites me in the back. I probably could also use the card. Yeah, he's dead. Actually, no. They killed each other. He killed a gene stealer over here who tried to open the door. And there's not many left. So I should probably... Uh, I'll convert to plus two. And I'll play... The critical... The automatic success. Uh, you. And then melee, which is a guaranteed success. There we go. Advance one. And overwatch. Turn in advance. And overwatch. That's five there. That's five to go there either way. So might as well just move him up there to six where he'll be safe. Er. In the name of the Emperor. Four. No AP for Overwatch, though. I probably should have put him on Overwatch, but this guy's so far away. He won't be able to reach us if he does try and run for us, so we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, he revealed two Gene Sealers. Overwatch missed. Overwatch succeeded, and he's running this way. Uh, let's convert one of them and play that one. 
on him, so he should have a plus. And he'll use all his normal AP to advance there. The diagonals will get you. <laughs> if you just looked at this, you'd think one, two, three, four, five, and then six to attack, but he's still got all his action points and he gets his free shot as well. There we go. Mission complete. Nice and simple. Not too bad. Extra components, 200. There we go. Did lose a Terminator, which is less than good. Squad management, is he still around, I wonder? Uh, yeah, it looks like he still is. I don't think he suffers anything. Oh, maybe if he dies, you lose all these upgrades. I don't know how it's going to punish deaths. The whole is infested with alien, alien filth. Countless gene sewers lie and wait for us through the wreck. Let us not stray from our mission, my brothers. Acknowledge brother. Alright, so now the actual, um... The actual gene stealers are now paying attention. <laughs> um, so... Asset detected. Are these always going to be components? Or are they sometimes going to be, um... The clues in that? Because I see there's clues and samples and all that. Gene stealers incoming. Uh, is he also gathering up ahead? Check, collect the acid, so more components. And now we're gonna have to fight. Uh, bless your weapon and attack. Protect the objective for eight turns and then three units survive. Okay. So, Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch is what I'm hearing. Uh, no extra swords or anything for anybody else, so... Brother Mattel has got the, uh, the best sword. Best fist. Of the, uh, power fists, which is nothing to, uh, be ashamed of having a power fist. So... What do we have to defend? We have to defend that console. And that console connects to all of these doors, which all have guns behind them. Alright. So, I'm thinking... We put you here. We put an assault here. I'll actually have him facing this, facing this way. Oh, that's our chainsaw assault. So these guys actually have the best weapons over here. And then over here. Oh. Uh, we'll place an assault over here. With the plan to get him into here as fast as we can. But we'll place the heavy weapons bearer. And the last assault terminator in here. And I'm going to plan to step him over here and just overwatch this doorway. And also have him overwatch the doorway. Actually, he may open the door and then back away. That way the assault gunner has a nice clear line of sight. I'll figure it out when we get into it. We'll see what happens. But I do want to open those doors. And then place these guys basically almost back to back in here. That way they each oh, cover the doorway. I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, so we're going to convert a card. I don't see any melee, so convert to plus three. Alright, and so I'm in Overwatch. And then he's going to interact. No overwatch from him next turn. But before he interacts, this guy, he's got to get moving. Yeah, he is safe from that gun. That's good. You, step over here. And overwatch. Overwatch. You back up, and then you'll enter Overwatch next turn. 
And now, for the final action, interact and open all of the doors. Actually, no, that's just locking all the doors. They were all already open. All right. <laughs> I thought they were closed. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. So it's opening these ones, but closing these ones. I see how it works now. That's not quite as useful as I was hoping for it to be. Uh, but you take, you spend your money, you take, you take your chances. Now, gotta wait for the gene stealers. They're probably gonna blob over here. I may actually. Yeah, they're coming this way. I'm gonna open up these doors. Because it's far more likely that they're gonna come from this side than the other one. So, interact. Open the doors. And... Convert. Three and two, that will be enough for an overwatch. Hello, Gene Stealers. And overwatch. And overwatch. Just to provide crossing overwatch. And then you... Go and open the door. Activated. And keep walking in. And overwatch. overwatch. Brother. Although I could have probably just shot the door with this guy. Oh well. And I think that is that. Although actually I will I got two points. I will play. these on him. Give each of them plus two. My honor is my life. Just so that they uh, each have uh, a better chance in melee combat. Which is a good thing, considering they're probably going to get into melee combat if these guys rush them. Now, AI, what are you going to do? Because this way is a double overwatch, effectively, as soon as you move. <laughs> They're running. <laughs> nope, no shots? Really? Alright. Oh, they're pooling. Oh, they're pooling. That's great. And that are coming this way. <laughs> Scorpion turret. Shoots a target... Configuring his settings, Terminators and Jesus can be targeted. Uh, can modify it if it's linked to a console. Unfortunately, they're not linked to a console. They'll just shoot. Uh, you can get to there. Get out of the way and clear the line of sight. Because they are coming. Uh, what is this? He gets a nest plus one in his next shot. Uh, you, I'm gonna back up to here. You're gonna overwatch. You're gonna actually rotate. And watch the other way. And I am gonna convert a card. I'm gonna convert this one. Just so that he's got some AP. Well, this squad has got some extra AP. Specifically him, because he's got zero at the moment. In order to, in case they uh, need it to clear jams. Yes, I know about the Scorpion turret. 
and then I think that's enough because we just have to hold for uh, five more turns. Now, AI, what are you going to do? Because this way is just Overwatch City. Same with this way, in order to get, especially this tile right here, has got double Overwatch. But each Terminator is now protected by at least one Overwatch. They're pooling to push this way. Alright, they're running. Oh, he jammed. And he died. And he's gonna stop there. Alright, yeah, he's coming this way. They're massively pooling around here. They are so hard. I'm going to push this Overwatch. And then I'm going to get um, some more AP. I'm going to convert to plus three, just that there's plenty of AP in case they just decide to blob somewhere and they do a ton of overwatch shots and then they get a ton of jams or they push across the whole squad. Yep, they're just blobbing up hard. Because <laughs> they don't want to push this Overwatch. And we have to defend, so I'm happy with them uh, just uh, staying there. And they have three turns to either kill three enemies or destroy the marked object. And we just have to sit here, as far as I'm aware. I don't think we have to actually extract. I think in order to win, we just have to stay put. If we do have to extract, that becomes a bigger problem. <laughs> then we have to deal with all of these termin all these gene stealers. There's there's a lot of them. Yeah, they're getting ready to overwhelm this room with a ton of gene stealers. A literal ton. Uh, you got eight rounds left in your assault cannon. You don't need to reload just yet. Um, what's plus four? Next shot is success. I'll convert a plus two. Just in case. I'd, I'd like having the extra AP in case they have to do a lot of shooting in Overwatch. In case they push hard and then they get a roll a lot of doubles. Yeah, they're just blobbing up. Like crazy. My honor is my life. Overwatch. I'm just glad that they haven't pushed too hard. No, don't turn. This room, though. <laughs> you don't want to try and enter this room. They've got so many overwatches. Hmm. I convert that one just to have the points. Now, are you actually going to try and push me at some point in the future? <laughs> or are we just going just gonna to sit here staring at each other going, You first! Uh, so this should be the last turn. Which of course means they're probably going to try and kill us all. With the amount of gene stealers they've got in here. Like, look at them all. There are thousands of them. Uh, convert that one. Oh, they converted a blip into another blip. Or a... Probably a biomorph of some type, I think. 
Maybe. And we win. There we go. Only killed one Gene Stealer, one Overwatch, and played two cards. Not the most exciting of missions, but it works. There we go. 50 components. Something here. Uh, survive. Our only apothecary born to peel. They are joining us. There we go. So now we actually have. Or now we should have, yeah. We have the apothecary. Which is his guy, and uh, another heavy, we heavy weapons bearer who's actually mounting a storm bolter. Oh, he doesn't actually have. Nymphos joins the squad. Reach the squad and can now take part in future missions. Build the Razor Brother and Arm Skill in front of him. Well, a percentage chance, and then we just got a happy weapons heavy weapons bearer who's uh, not got a heavy weapon. He's basically just an assault marine. There we go. Something here. Now we have more men. We can dispatch some of our battle bars to our strategic locations. Keep the Xenos at bay. They can regroup for our squad after the next mission. And of course, we got. Uh... Large group of genius here suddenly emerges from the walls. It's crawling a mass prevents it from moving forward. Order Brother to stand his ground while the rest of the squad progresses. Brother Cartel. Stand your ground. That's actually a nice little way of having to make choices. Structural default has revealed itself. Maybe don't place the explosive charge there. Acknowledge, brother. I missed a little bit, but it's literally just scrap. Or components. Uh, that sounds like it's going to be a big mission. So, and in the interest of time, considering we're now at the 30 minute mark, 30 minute mark, I'm going to call the episode here. We made it to basically the first detonation point. Uh, we've gotten a couple more battle brothers and an apothecary, which is good. Because that means we may be able to just revive a fallen terminator, or rather, a knocked out of action terminator. But I'd like to uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.